I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Woke Wednesday. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing on the Christian faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. He's sleeping. Get the app. It's on Google, Am Amazon, and iTunes. And it's going to be on Roku and Apple TV soon. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling give right there today. Today, we have a special guest on Higher Things TV, um, Erica Jacoby. She is the executive director of Higher Things. That means she runs the joint. Um, she is also a former <laughs> high school um, teacher, public school teacher. And so we're going to talk about woke and being woke with Erica. Erica, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on today. I'm not sure either of us is woke enough to do this segment, but we're going to try to do it justice. Yeah, you uh, sent me a, tact, uh, a, a task to take on on wokeness, yeah. and I gotta be I gotta be honest with you, I I wasn't awake to take it. So um, uh, uh, uh. I wanted to see how woke you were in comparison to me. I'll admit I cheated because I knew the answer. Yeah, that. But that I'm, joke, so I'm I'm very woke. Please forgive me for that joke. That uh, we are in a time that's very very serious, so a joke like that's going to get me in trouble. But um, if you yeah. would give me the history and the meaning of the word yo uh, woke. And hashtag stay woke. All yours, Erica. Thanks. I'd be happy to. I should note, too, that um, I think the reason you and I talked about uh, wanting to do this segment was that there are a lot of terms and ideologies sort of floating around out there in our secular culture today. And so I think it's important for us to give those terms to the parents and youth and to help um, sort of figure out what they mean uh, and if they work with the Christian worldview or if they don't. Um, so thanks for doing this with me. I think it's going to be fun. So on to your question. What does uh, woke mean? Um, Urban Dictionary has woke meaning that uh, you're, uh, you are being aware and knowing what's going on in the community. Um, it also has specific ties to racism and social justice. So someone who is woke thinks for themselves and is able to see how classism uh, things like sexism and racism affect uh, affect life here in America. Um, woke itself, the term woke, began to be more tied to the Black Lives Movement after the uh, 2012 fatal shooting of Trayvon Martin uh, in Florida. He was a 17-year-old kid who ended up getting shot by a, a security guard. Um, you can Google that story if you're interested. Uh, after that shooting, the hashtag stay woke uh, became very popular in social media posts um, to remind readers to sort of um, look past the surface in news and media outlets uh, and to encourage them to examine their own privilege. Um, and by privilege, I would say um, maybe because you're white, you would have more privilege in the United States, but sort of that concept. Um, not woke would mean that you can call somebody out, right, for um, not being this way, and maybe even cancel them or delete them or um, erase and unfollow. I know kids in my um, school did not want to be thought of as not woke. That was, You were not a good person, if that makes sense. All right. Um, did I answer your question? Oh, yes, you did, but I need some examples. I need some examples. As okay. an old guy, I need examples. He Okay, so an example of um, something that would be woke would be, uh, I'll give you a high school example um, that went on in my high school. There was a group of students, woke students, let's call them, because that's what they were, who uh, noticed in need in PE classes that um, some of our e extremely uh, more disabled special needs students uh, weren't able to do gym the way everybody else was. So they wanted to include them. So they asked for and got a, um, a semester um, added to our course catalog of in inclusive PE class. So students uh, that were not in special ed could participate in PE. 
with, with special ed students. That would be something that would be considered woke. Something that can, would be considered not woke would be uh, perhaps walking around or uh, running into a student that you don't know at high school and um, uh, asking them simply because maybe they're Asian or Latino looking and saying, hey, where are you from? Assuming that they're not from Maple Grove, Minnesota, because they're not white, um, which is the predominant um, sort of uh, ethnicity in Maple Grove, Minnesota. Um, so that would be a not woke thing to do. Uh, another example of not woke uh, might be for a teacher to um, not use the um, gen the pronouns that a student asked them for, that they would assume their pronouns um, that they wanted to be called by. How are those, for example? Does that help you out? Oh, thank you. Thank you. As an old guy, that's very, very helpful. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. So yeah. we've got woke and not woke. Right. How's this, how's this go stay with, woke. How's this go right. with Christianity? So, so I think, right. So can you, my question for you, Pastor Borghart, and this is, um, this is for you to help us sort out sort of with that Christian worldview is can I be simultaneously? Yeah. I don't know if you're woke enough to answer this. I'll, I'll teasing aside though. Um, can you be simultaneously woke and be a Christian? Are they compatible? Or are they incompatible? What I do you ask think? the questions here, but I will answer your question. <laughs> All right. So um, what I think from what you've said, from what you've said, from what you've said, um, I think there's something to be said about loving your neighbor. And 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 the part of, of what you've described as woke, which is very, very concerned about loving your neighbor, uh, making a PE class that my daughter as a special needs student can go to that that is very, very, very loving and kind. Being sensitive to the needs and the plight of others and the suffering of others is very, a very, very Christian concept, a very, very Christian virtue. Um, on the flip side, uh, judging someone by what they have said uh, and the motives that they may have. Sometimes a question about where you're from is just a question about where you're from. It's not, there's no assumption behind that. Um, not helpful. And 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 the unforgivingness and the and the and the uh, the cancelness of this culture is 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 kind of antithetical to Christianity. So so on the one hand, you know, loving your neighbor is always a good thing. Um, on the other hand, the loving your neighbor needs to be determined by the Ten Commandments in the Christian con uh, con um, in the Christian sort of mindset. All right. So um, yeah. in yeah. the coming weeks, we are going to be doing uh, on Wednesdays, looking at our culture, um, woke Wednesdays. Uh, what are we going to do next week? We're at eight minutes, so you better make it short. 30 seconds. Oh, uh, we're we're going to be talking about the word triggered. I'm triggered, trigger warnings and just sort of are we creating fragility, emotional fragility sort of with those things. And I'm stacking the deck with that there. But uh, yeah. That's it. Erica Jacoby is the executive director of Higher Things. Her dog is behind her. Um, oh, did you see one of them? Yeah, that's yeah. Ginger. Uh, oh, well, Thor's moving now. He heard. Yeah, Thor, Thor's, Thor's on the move. So Erica Jacoby, executive director of Higher Things, former high school teacher, will be joining us on Wednesday. Thank you, Erica. And Thanks we will see you me. soon. All right, we'll see you soon. All right. I'm Pastor George Borkhart. This has been another Higher Things short, uh, video short. Keep your eyes and your ears fixed on Jesus. It is the only way to get through this time. Loving one another where you can love others. Forgiving one another where they have sinned. Um, and directing them to the place where we all need to go, which is the one who died for all, Jesus. I'll see you next week.